Hello, nice you're joining this yoga lesson. So take a comfortable seat, like how I sit, or maybe you prefer to sit on your knees. Maybe wiggle a little bit from right to left. And then slowly close your eyes. Take a moment to really land on this mat. To land here in this moment. Maybe you're at home. Maybe you have a busy day. Whatever has been on your mind. Try to let it go for now. Just feel your sit bones on the mat. Maybe you can lengthen through the spine a little bit more. Bring your chin in just a little more to your chest, so your spine and your neck are coming in one line. And on an exhale, see if you can relax the shoulders and the elbows, you know your face muscles a little bit. Maybe loosen your mouth, lips, not pressed on top of each other anymore. Bring your awareness to the breath. Without trying to change, just observe. Your inhale, your exhale. Inhale is really shallow through the chest. See if you can breathe in from the belly. Maybe you like to bring your left hand through your belly. So on your inhale, you feel the belly pressing into your hand. And on the exhale, you feel the navel drawn back in. And every time the, mind, the mind wanders off this yoga session, try to see if you can go back to this belly breathing. If you have your hand on your belly, just bring it back to your knee. And then gently open your eyes. Inhale, lifting both arms up, straight fingers. All the way up, relax the shoulders. Exhale, press the palms together, bring hands in prayer position. One more time, inhale, looking up, all the way up. Exhale, one more time. Last one, inhale. Exhale, bringing left arm under right arm, eagle arms. Maybe the hands, the palms can hold, otherwise just bring the back of your hands together. Inhale, lifting arms up gentle, looking up to the sky, slight back bend. Exhale, bringing elbows to our navel, rounding the spine, bringing our chin to our chest. Inhale, looking up again, bringing elbows up. Exhale, rounding. And letting go of those arms. Inhale, big reach up again, looking up to your hands. Exhale, this time right is going under left, interlace. Inhale, lifting arms up, looking up to the sky. Exhale, rounding the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, up, just gentle, warming up our spine, opening the shoulders. Just be gentle with yourself, just warming up. Last one, inhale. 
exhale, rounding. And letting go of the arms. Just check it out. Inhale, lifting arms back up. Exhale, bringing right fingertips on the mat. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Look up, really reaching for the sky or the ceiling. Exhale, twisting. Bringing that light, right left arm over your left ear. And a deep stretch on the whole left side of your body. Exhale, cartwheel to the other side. Not melting down, really up. Keep the core engaged. Exhale, bringing both arms back. Just place the big fingertips are back. Inhale, bring the chest forward, draw the shoulder blades together. If this is too easy for you, you can push yourself up on the knees and lift the bum up. Let the head hang a little bit. And slowly coming back. Bring the hands to the front. Coming on all fours. Spread the fingers into the mat. Really pushing with the fingers. Hip width apart with the knees. Exhale, start rounding the spine. Really bring your chin to your chest. Push your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale. Look up, draw the navel down, seat bones getting up, and repeat on your own pace. Few cycles of breath. We say yoga, a happy spine is a healthy life. A healthy spine, not a happy. But I guess when it's healthy, it's happy. So just warming up. Spine here and turn it back to neutral. Inhale, lifting your right leg up, really pushing that heel to the back and not having too high that you're arching the back hip more level. Inhale, lifting left arm up like we're shaking somebody's hand, thumbs up. And now closing your eyes, staying here, closing your eyes. Finding that balance, engaging all the muscles in the core. And your next exhale, you bring your knee to the elbow. Gentle, right knee, left elbow, chin to chest, round it. Inhale, keep the eyes closed, extend again. Exhale, take it as slow as you need to. If you need to look me for a moment, and keep going in your own cycle of breath again. If it's too hard, you open the eyes, listen to the body, what your body needs. Exhale, lower left hand, lower right knee. And then change your hands that the fingers are pointing towards your knees. If you're not as flexible with the wrists, I'm not. Maybe they stay a little bit more to the outside. And just drawing circles to upper body, over to the right, and turn to the left. And calmly point your toes in the mat, calmly sit down, and just. Loosen up the wrist before we go to the other side. And there we go again. Bring the hands down on all fours, spread the fingers wide. Your next inhale, lifting the left leg. Bring the heel all the way down from the left foot. In, look up, bring your right hand in front, thumbs facing up. And again, finding your, finding control in the body. And only once you feel that you're stable, you can close your eyes. Take the breath to guide you. 
And on your exhale, you bring your knee to your elbow, elbow to knee, round the spine. Inhale, extend out. Keep eyes closed if you can, otherwise open them. Whatever feels good. Last one. And bring your right arm back. Bring your left knee back. Inhale, lifting left arm up. Really looking up to that left hand. Bring your left shoulder over the right shoulder. Looking up to the fingers and really reaching for the sky. Exhale, drawing that left arm all the way under your right hand and your right leg as far as you can. And then lower that left ear down for a deep stretch in the shoulder blades. Maybe you feel you have the tendency to bring the hips all the way to the right. Pull them back gently to the left. If you don't feel much, maybe push a little on that right hand into the mat. Inhale, lifting left arm up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting right arm up. Trying to bring that right arm over the left arm. Reaching for the sky. Exhale, lower right arm down all the way onto your right ear. Trying to bring the hips back. So just now my neighbor starts to work in the garden. I hope you don't hear it too much. Inhale, lifting up that right arm. Exhale, lower down. Spread those fingers in the mat again. Tuck the toes into the mat. Inhale, slowly bring yourself up to your first downward dog and just pedal it out. One heel all the way down and then the other. Just warming up our ankles. Try in the downward dog to not be too much here that there's a lot of pressure on the wrist. Really bring yourself back. Three deep cycles of breath here. Inhale, lifting up your right leg to the sky. Looking forward, exhale, stepping right foot in between, lowering left knee down. Make sure the right knee is over the left ankle. Inhale, reaching up, looking up to your hands. Exhale, lower hands down, pushing yourself back with hamstring stretch. Lift up the legs, maybe keep that leg bent. Inhale, lifting up again. Exhale, pulling the bar like we're in the gym this time. Cactus arms, yoga. Inhale up, exhale, pull one more time. Really draw the shoulder blades together. Opening our chest, opening our heart. Inhale up, exhale, lower hands down. Inhale, lifting right arm up, looking to the sky. Exhale, lower right arm up. Tuck your toes of your left foot, bring the right knee up, stepping right leg next to the left, into plank position, really draw the navel in. Coming onto the knees, lift the legs up, bring the hips a little forward, so you're in one plank with the upper body. Exhale, lowering down, keeps the elbows close to the body, all the way down. Bring the legs down, bring your forehead on the mat. 
making sure the hands stay close to the shoulders, elbows to the body. Inhale, baby cobra, not pushing with the hands, just lifting up the chest. Keep looking down, so we'll come in front of you. Exhale. Bring your forehead back on the mat. Inhale, tuck the toes, push yourself up, downward dog. Three cycles of breath and downward dog again. Inhale, lifting left leg up, reaching high, looking to the front of the mat. Exhale, stepping left foot in between your legs, maybe two steps. <laughs> Lowering right knee down. Inhale, lifting arms up, looking to the ceiling like you're holding a ball, just looking up. Yes, nice. Staying connected with the breath. It's the most or only thing you should really be aware of. Go into the hamstring stretch, toes are up, chest is up, knee might be bent depending on your flexibility. Inhale, bringing hips forward and then lifting arms up. Keep the navel up, keep the core engaged. Exhale, cactus arms. Draw the shoulder blades together, open your heart. Inhale, pushing back up. And one more time. Inhale, lifting arms up, lowering down. Inhale again, lifting left arm up, looking up to your hand. Exhale, lower left hand up, tuck your toe here, right feet, lift the right knee up, bring left foot back, plank position. Lowering knees down again, bringing the feet up, making upper body in one line. Exhale, going down, keep the elbows close to the body. This time, hoover. Inhale, push yourself up. Yes, exhale one more time. Hoover and slowly lower down. Inhale into cobra straight away, or maybe baby cobra, staying here, or going a little bit further into cobra. And your exhale, lower down. Inhale, push yourself up this time just to extend the child pose. Maybe open up the knees, walk the hands a little further. So reaching forward, yes, and bring that forehead on the mat. Deep exhale here. Maybe letting go of any tension. Inhale, start to round the spine slowly, slowly, the rounded spine coming up. Yes, bring the hands a little further in. Tuck the toes, downward dog. And from here, look into your hands, look into your fingers even, and then start walking those hips and baby step all the way to your hands. Yes, keep the knees bent. Exhale, rolling yourself over to your upper body. Really releasing the head. Maybe take hold of opposite elbows and just shake your head. Yes and no. Maybe even drawing circles. Whatever feels good. The knees are just going to be really bent. Just raising your lower back. All the weight that's on that heavy. That's carrying that heavy head of ours. And releasing the arms. Bring your hands to your chins. Inhale, lengthen and extend the spine and your neck. Keep looking down. Exhale, folding forward again, looking in between your legs. 
Inhale, big reach out with a straight spine all the way up. Bring the hips slide forward. Exhale, hands to heart and mountain pose. Good job. Relax the shoulders, relax the toes. Inhale, lift the arms up. Now interlace the hands and then bring the palms up to the ceiling. Yes, stretching out. And from here, we're going to just Round circles. Yes, warming up our shoulders, those heights, and the other way around. And from there, slowly lowering hands down, interlace behind us. Inhale, open up, really pushing with the you can with the wrists into each other. Good. Opposite from all that computer and phone work we do. From here, we either stay here, if this is enough for us, as you bend your knees, slowly bringing chest forward, bringing hands over the head. Relax the head, relax the neck. And now releasing the hands, lower them down all the way to the mat. And then we're coming up with our chest, lowering our bum down like we're going to sit on a chair, lifting the arms up into chair pose. Draw the navel in. Yes, really good. Relax the shoulders. Exhale, bring the right arm back and look to your right arm. Keep looking, keep breathing. Inhale, bring right arm back. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale, turning left arm back. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift, extend the spine, extend the neck. Exhale, full place your hands on up, bend your knees, stepping back with your right leg. Bring that foot 45 degrees, bend your front leg. Inhale, warrior. Check in your alignment if you can still see your two big toes. Start facing forward. Exhale, warrior pose, relax the shoulders. Hips are opening, back foot 90 degrees. And maybe smile. Inhale, reverse warrior, lift the left arm up. Stretch on the whole left side, upper body, part of your body. Exhale, bend that arm, bring that lift. Elbow onto the knee without really leaning. Inhale, bringing right arm over the head. And not really hanging there. And slowly we're going to lower that right arm down, drawing big circles all the way up again. Yes. Last one, and then lower that right arm down, bringing the back foot toes facing forward, and then reaching forward with the left arm. Holding for three cycles of breath, really pushing the back heel down. Lowering left arm next to your left hand next to your left foot. Stepping that left foot back. Plank position. Going on the knees or going all the way down from here. Lowering down. Forehead on the mat. Spreading the hands out. Shoulder height. Bring the legs together and then really putting pressure on the legs that the kneecaps are off the floor. Inhale, lifting legs, lifting chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Thumbs are facing up. 
like an airplane when I do this with my daughter. Holding for three, two, exhale, lower down. Forward abdominal mat. Bring your hands next to your shoulders and gentle push yourself up into down dog. Inhale, lifting right leg up to the sky. Look forward, stepping right foot in between. Maybe help. Bring this down the left foot 90 degrees. Inhale, coming up, warrior pose. Check that the line under the knee is not falling in. Yes. Staying on the outside. I can see my big toes of my right foot. Exhale, open up. I'll turn. So again, we're opening up back foot 90 degrees. Shoulders. Relax, spread the fingers. Little smile again. Inhale, lifting arm up, reverse warrior. Exhale, bring the right hand on the right knee. Inhale, lifting left arm up, reaching over. Like one long line of energy from our left toe to my left fingers. And then here, gonna bring the arm forward again, big circles. Really winding up the shoulders. Last one, bring the arm forward, turning that back foot, reaching forward with the left arm, holding for three cycles of breath. Exhale, lower that right hand down. Stepping your right foot next to left plank position. Maybe on the knees, maybe not going down. Gentle. Bring your forehead on the mat. This time, interlace hands behind you. Your back, inhale, lift the chest up. Draw the shoulder blades together. Legs stay on the floor. Holding for three. Two, exhale, release the band and soften down. Bring your hands next to your shoulders, push yourself up. This time, we're keeping the bum up so the legs stay 90 degrees. Just bring the arms forward, bring forehead on the mat. Yes. Even deeper, stretching the shoulder blades. Maybe even like to close your eyes. and see if you can really bring yourself up and maybe we have to bend the knees a little bit flex the shoulders now bring your right foot next to the left bring your left arm to the side and wrap it around give it a big squeeze if this is too easy for you you can also place it here Really keeping the spine up and long. In, extend out, keep the left leg engaged. And maybe I like to bring your right hand just to on the fingertips to helping yourself staying upright. And from there, slowly twist looking over your right shoulder. And 
right side coming down, bringing that right foot to the left thigh, keep that leg engaged, keep sitting upright, inhale, lifting arms up, exhale, reaching forward to the straight spine, when you cannot go any further, you just round and drop the hands wherever they fall, no need to reach for that leg, for that toes, that lowest point. Slowly coming back up, changing sides. Putting the foot here or over, bringing the right arm out to the shoulder, grabbing yourself, giving yourself a big squeeze. Nice hard keep the spine lengthen. Bring your left hand back just on the fingertips. Extend, exhale, twist. See if you can really look as far as you can over the shoulders. So not just with the head, really with the eyes, try to gaze as far as you can. And so turning back, bringing right foot into left foot onto the right thigh. Stays hard, right and left. Teaching my daughter now, it's complicated. Inhale, lifting arms up again. Exhale, reaching forward and just dropping hands, rounding the spine, chin to chest. Just letting gravity do its work for us. Slowly coming up. And just wiggle out your legs, maybe from right to left. And then guide yourself all the way down to the mat. Bring the feet up. Close that you can almost touch your heels. Place your hands on the mat. Palms down. The legs, like there's a ball in between your legs, and start rounding the spine and vertebra by the vertebra, bringing the hips up while the head and the shoulders are staying low. Exhale, vertebra by vertebra, coming back again. And then bring the knees to your chest. Just give yourself a big squeeze. Wiggle. And then slowly open the legs, grab your ankles, or maybe you can grab your big toes with your index fingers. And just ending with happy baby. Always imagine the feeling that a baby has just wiggling like this, just in the moment, right now. Here on our yoga mat. Maybe you'll already like to close your eyes. And then bring the soles of your feet together. Lowering the legs down, the knees to the outside. Bring your arms inside your body already. And on a really deep exhale, you can extend the legs out for Shasana. And on another exhale, see if you can let go of any muscle tension that's still in the body. Often we're not even aware. We're still tensing our fingers, 
and soften our toes a little bit more. Even our forehead, jaw. Like there's no bones in the body or this soft. body is soft and the mind is also soft. Um, so like you move and just extend yourself out maybe. Hmm. And slowly coming onto your side, making your way up to a seated position. And I say thank you for sharing this session with me. I hope you like it. Give some thumbs. See you next time.